Welcome back to another vlog. Oh, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So, today, you guys, we are going to be doing a daily vlog. I have a few things I need to do on today. So, yeah, today's Friday. Happy Friday, happy Friday to you guys. <sighs> Hopefully, you're having a great, great day. Um, I'm trying to get my morning started off. Okay, I'm going to put my time off. Get my morning started right. Because, y'all, it's so much to do. It's so, so much going on. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. The first thing on the agenda is... To get coffee i have to have my duck and donuts coffee and then i need to go to um i need to go to um i need to go to the bank and then once i leave the bank we're going to walmart i need to pick up a few items from walmart i need to get my nails done and my eyebrows arched so i need to get my nails and my eyebrows arched and then we'll be headed back home because there's some tidying up. I need to do around the house. I need to do some cleaning up today for real. For real. I need to tidy up. I think my focus today will be on the living room. So we need to do that. But yeah, y'all. I have been like wearing my natural hair. If you guys haven't noticed in the last few videos. And I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to embrace my natural hair. I'm trying to embrace my natural hair. I'm trying to lay off the lashes as well because you know after wearing lashes so long you let your natural lashes um breathe as well so i've been trying to lay off them too as much so y'all this is me this is your girl trying to be on her natural thing okay so i've been wearing my natural hair and i'm trying to out what i call it's like the it's not the ugly stage it's just me trying to get to know my hair stage so right now what i did with this hairstyle i just have in my hair rice water afro g conditioner um i use the dr miracles oil to like kind of like just gently um massage my scalp with and so i just tied it up in two twists and then i just used the rods to give it the extra curl i think it's a little damp a little bit and so i'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it a little bit to try to hopefully help it dry. It don't feel that, but I can feel a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to do that real quick, y'all. All right, I want to hit it on my clothes. Let's see what it's gonna feel like. Taking these down, they still feel a little damp, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Look at it. <laughs> oh, I put a lot of moisture on here, but I ain't got time. I gotta get out of here. I ain't got time. It is what it is. We gonna roll with it. But the one thing I do know, like, do I when it is when my hair is still kind of damp. Once it hits the air and stuff, it really dries up. It ain't like it's just drenching with it. But I knew last night when I was doing this, I was like, oh, I'm putting too much product on my head. It's late at night and it just, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna do right. I knew it. <laughs> I said, I'm way too late to do this. You know, I'm just gonna expect some, some kind of curls in the morning. Girl, no. Oh, well, y'all. It is what it is. Oh, look at this. So what I might not do, I might not fully bluff it. That's probably what I'm not gonna do until it dries a little bit more. See that, y'all? <laughs> but I love the way my hair is feeling and I can tell she's growing. Now that's dry back there. But these will be dry. Yeah, these will be dry. Look at that. This one's still damp. So this is what I do, y'all. And what I do is I take my fingers. It's all I do. I kid you not. I do have a hair bandana that I keep in my car, but I take my fingers and I do this. 
I just massage my hair. Now, of course, when it's wet, I mean, when it's dry, it looks better, but it comes out better. But right now, it's like, it's gonna look like this because my hair's still wet, but this is all I do. Like, literally. I feel like I'm shampooing my hair when I do this. And that's it. Fix something behind my ear. And I'm not gonna do nothing else to it because like I said, it's still wet. We're gonna let this bad baby dry and see what she do for the rest of the day. But this is it. Still feel some indentions in the back. This is all I do. That's it, y'all. Period. Loving my natural hair, okay? We loving our natural hair, right? Right. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to do an outfit today, let you guys see what I'm wearing. Okay, y'all. Come back. I, okay, y'all. I did go ahead and just, I went ahead and put a scrunch on my head. Y'all see? I put a little scrunch on my head. It looks cuter that way. I think when it dries, it's going to get bigger and bigger throughout the day. So I decided to put a scrunch on my head. I like that better. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, here's the outfit of the day. I have on this plaid shirt that I got from Walmart. It's a 2X men's section. Check it out. Um, I got on just like on a black tank top up under here. Nothing too special. And on my crossbody, y'all, another nice Walmart purchase. Y'all, these leggings, though, y'all, the quality is amazing. And either um, I paid, these were the ones that there was either I don't know, I think it was eleven ninety nine or six ninety nine or something like that. You guys look at my um if you haven't watched my shop with me, if you haven't watched my shop with me um video I just recently uploaded, y'all. I have these pants in that haul. Y'all, these are so comfortable. And I was concerned about the length, but it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect, y'all. And the quality, y'all, they so thick in their material. These are really, really good quality le leggings. And the brand is 90 Degrees. So I encourage y'all to get you some of these, y'all. If y'all see them at y'all nearest Ross, because <laughs> I got them for Ross, y'all purchase you some of these. These leggings are the bomb. I love, love. But I'm wearing my Vapor Max uh, sneakers. Love the color tone. I wanted to use this pop of color. I like the teal. I like the... Um, the um what is that fluorescent pink um shoelaces but then you got the black and white with the nike stripes so hey i thought this would be a really nice outfit so this is my outfit of the day you guys this is what we're wearing so let's get out here and get in these streets y'all y'all we are back from walmart i'm gonna do like a little quick my walmart haul some of the things that i picked up from walmart you guys yeah i don't know if y'all are familiar with walmart's clearance section but shop big clearance section but my question is is it really clearance i don't know y'all but anyway this is what i got here are the items that i got from walmart i picked up me a DiGiorno meat lovers pizza it is the crispy thin crust got me some Minute Maid strawberry lemonade juice. I picked up me some orange juice. I got some Campbell's chunky um, classic chicken noodle soup. There I, am. I love me some chicken noodle soup. I'm old school. Call it what you want to call it. I got me some um, ground turkey, a bag of apples, and I picked up me some Yo Play, some Yo Play yogurts, the strawberry and the peaches. The strawberry and the peach flavor. And I went ahead and got me some roses this week. The Walmart I went to today didn't have a huge selection on flowers, so I went with roses. Um, so those are beautiful, I got those. So these are the items, other items that I picked up. Y'all, now, you know, I love a clearance. Y'all know I love, shelves. I love to shop sales, I love to get deals. So do y'all think Walmart clearance is so clearance? Hmm. I think I got some good items though. But I picked up this nice notebook. It was four dollars. Can resist it. I know it's of good quality. Yeah, I am a sucker for notebook. Did I need this? Mm, not so much, but four dollars I had to get it. I can always put it up for a rainy day, okay? Then I picked up this nice, y'all. This is really nice. I picked up this nice fragrance warmer, and this is gonna go in my guest bedroom. This is going to go in my guest room. So I got this and it was $13. And 
and then I picked up I picked up this nice better home and gardens diffuser. I don't know where I'm gonna I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but yeah, I just had to get it. It was four fifty, and it is the pink panini and blush um, fragrance. But I love this. I think I'm gonna put it in my room because the one in my room is about to completely go because I've had it for a while. So I think that's where I'm gonna put it. So then moving on to my single wick candles. I got to start stocking up on my single wick candles and I don't mind getting the one from Walmart because basically what I use my single wick, my single wick candles for is for the front entryway and in the office and I've ran out of single wick candles and so I've been using my three wick bath and body works candles and I really don't want to use those because those are just like the entryway is like it's right there by the front door as soon as you come in i don't need a big candle for that my office is i don't need a big candle in my office so but anyway so i picked up these two i got the clouds and rainbows y'all this smells so refreshing it has a it has a very refresh clean linen scent but it also seems like they got some kind of i don't know like a strong perfume or musk scent added to it but the candle smells amazing then i picked up the starlight skies this smells good as well and so um the candle waxes i always got the candle wax from walmart that was like two dollars and something but y'all these three one dollar and ten cent one dollar and ten cent one dollar and ten cent go figure so i got the hawaiian coconut i got the papaya passion and I got the strawberry waffle cone. So I need to up on those because the ones I've had are extremely old. And I have been using the Oli um, vitamins. And yeah, I didn't know they had such an extensive line because I was about to pick up their daily energy vitamins. But I was like, nah, I'm going to wait because this is like my second bottle um, of this. And I know the one I have now is about to be completely gone. So I'm going to go through this and then I may just try the daily energy um, line that they have. But y'all come below and let me know. Have y'all tried their different um, product lines? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline and it's supposed to flare my lashes. So I'll let you guys know how this product All works. right, you guys. So now I'm gonna put up these items and I am going to probably just chill out for a little while. I'm gonna get up. I need to do some tidying up around the house. So I'll see y'all next. Teach my soul to sing your song. Even when my eyes can't see When I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me I know your hand is guiding me Storm, I'll still believe. <laughs> and when it seems I'm at the end. I don't know what I believe Through the cloud I see your hand Reaching down to guide me You're always reaching down to guide me Cause I am yours and I am free
Okay, y'all, it is a few hours later. Um, as you've seen, I did some house chores. So I sat down, I chilled for a little while, but now I'm about to go on a study date. Yes, y'all, I'm going on a study date. I'm actually finna go study with my daughter. Um, my oldest daughter is pursuing going to law school. So she has to study for the LSAT. So she's gonna be studying for the LSAT and I'm gonna be studying for um, my dissertation. If you guys don't know, I am a doctoral candidate. I am pursuing my doctorate in project management. So I do have a lot of work to do so I gotta go ahead and get the ball rolling with that um so we're gonna have a set of date which is I'm so looking forward to this I'm so I'm so looking forward to this this is something that me and my daughters decided to implement earlier this week so we're gonna take rotations of going to you know going to this going into each other houses or either going to um different like locations and having study days together so that's one thing that we're going to implement but anyway so as far as my house project y'all i've been snapping y'all i have been doing the most and i'd be so mad because i'll be mad i'd be like damn i need to be filming this i need to be filming this to be some great content but y'all when i'm doing my cleaning videos and i'm doing my home decor videos it just takes so much time <laughs> to try and film that on your own. And so if you guys have been with me since the day one of me starting my channel, you know, I started with cleaning and organizing videos. And at that time I had a personal assistant, so she was doing the filming for me and I was just doing the actual, you know, the work. And so now girl trying to film, I just, uh-uh, it's just so much, it's so much. I'm gonna, like I told y'all a while back, I will be incorporating it into my vlogs, but I don't know just how much I just dedicate it to like 100% just content videos. But anyway, y'all, so I've been working on the downstairs area since my daughter moved out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that area the guest room area. So um, her old bedroom is gonna be the guest bedroom. It's so nice, y'all. She let me um, keep her bed, and I bought her TV that she had mount that she has mounted on the wall. And it looks so nice in here. And then I have worked on the bathroom downstairs. By this time, y'all should know what my um, home decor style is. And honey, I stepped completely out of my comfort zone on this one, y'all. I mean, completely out of my comfort zone. Y'all gonna be so surprised. But there's a few more items that I wanna get in the guest bathroom downstairs before I do a reveal to let you guys see what it look like. But I'm so freaking proud of it. Um, as far as the guest bedroom, there's some things that I need to do in there right now. I'm not really like in a hurry to get it done because I think what's gonna happen is the bedroom is going to turn into my nap into my office and the office space is going to turn into the guest bedroom because that guest bedroom is a whole lot larger than my current office space and so i'm kind of like going to flip them so i'm not really trying to put a whole lot of work into it because eventually that's going to become my new office space so the next project i'll be working on is my garage i want to turn into a mini gym y'all i want to really turn into the mini into a mini gym and i have a lot of confidence in myself that i'm gonna do it i'm really gonna do it um right now i have a bike slash elliptical in there i have a stair stepper that i bought from walmart i mean from amazon in there i got jump ropes um weights and things like that but I just, I gotta get that bad baby set up. I gotta get it set up how I wanna get it set up. I need to get it organized. So slowly but surely, buy me pieces to go in the garage and to get it how I want it to look. So we'll see y'all, but that's a whole nother work in progress. But I got so many house projects that I wanna work on. And it's one thing that I'm just starting to just feel about my home, y'all. I'm so grateful to God, y'all. They have such a peace and loving living space. It is just so peaceful in my home. And I just am embracing every moment of it. And I have so many projects to do. Like it's just so many to do, but nevertheless. So yeah, yeah, I am headed to my daughter's house so we can have our study dates. So I will see y'all in the next clip. Y'all look at my daughter's charcuterie board. Isn't this nice? Oh, this is so freaking nice, y'all. Is this what you were talking about? Uh, this is red wine. The Pinot Grigio is white wine. It is, but you like red wine? I'm always willing to try new things. So do you drink white wine or red wine? I drink white wine, but I'm always down to try new stuff. Yeah, I guess, I mean, we'll, we'll drink that. But I got other wine here. What other wine? You got white wine? 
I have Chardonnay. I have a lot of food in your refrigerator. Moscato. Moscato too sweet. I'll do. Let's try. I'll do some Chardonnay. You don't want to try that? We can try it. We can try it. It's okay. up to you. So y'all, I'm at my daughter's house. We about to do our study session. She done went all the way out, y'all. Like what? Got a whole charcuterie boy. This is so nice here. <laughs> I'm about to step up my game. I'm about to step up my game, y'all. This is so nice. So nice. I made it home. I done tied my hair up and everything. Just want to show you something that YouTube could go through so y'all can like kind of have an idea of what I'm going through. What I went on ahead and set up for um, the content I need to create for the weekend. It's two videos I want to do. So I set up my bathroom. It's completely dismantled. So first of all, let's talk about my seating. <laughs> so I had to go outside that I need so I got I got this chair off my patio I got my seating together and so this is what my bathroom looks like yeah so I had to take all of my accessories like all of my accessories off the sink <laughs> and this is what my current bathroom situation looks like so can you guys guess what videos I'm about to do can you guess I'm sure you can so yeah, I'm getting prepared for my videos that I need to film. Anyway, I am tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, let's talk about my nails, y'all. This I ain't show y'all my nails. This is the color I went with for my nails. Oh, I just got like it's kind of like a cotton candy, and I just got like a a silver glitter on it. So they're so cute. Something different. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.